Chairman of uh, Center for Public Policy Research, Mr. Chair Masuk, uh, Chairman Kerala Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Mr. K. M. Roy, uh, Senior Journalist, Mr. K. J. Sohan, Mr. Elingovan, Mr. Sheikh Perry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be here with uh, all of you this afternoon. All in a sudden, Metro has uh, become a very controversial uh, topic. Uh, rest assured, that's not my intention here, as, uh, as uh, Mr. Dhanraj pointed out. We're just here to present some of the facts before you. I made a quick uh, presentation consisting of about uh, 20 odd slides. Some of them is, are, are basically commonplace information. Uh, some contain some information which we have uh, prepared. Some financial data as to how we are going to implement uh, this project. Uh, problems associated with it. Uh, at the end of that, uh, we'll answer any questions, but that is subject to what uh, Mr. Roy decides uh, how the proceedings should go. Basically, a little bit of uh, data which uh, we all know about uh, Cochin City. Uh, since I prepared this uh, presentation for uh, our uh, members in the Planning Commission and officials of, uh, of the Ministry, uh, this would contain some data which all of us are very, very familiar. So I just skip through the initial slides. Heritage, global presence in tourism, healthcare, business, and academic fields, and a population of 2.5 million. Now, uh, this is a little uh, bit of a controversial issue. Adimite the neck, Kuchil, Metroi Kulla, where population is not enough, and Kulla, where argument is in Mumbai to one another. Argument and the Pathana might allow a basis of the planning commission. The requirement is that for any city to deserve a metro, it should have a minimum population of 3 million 30 lakhs. Now, obviously, Cochin Corporation and the Bernardicaria it doesn't qualify. Uh, this is again uh, common knowledge. Pache, it is a man's second and two sons of the other. One planning commission, the opposition, they have withdrawn. As of today, they have withdrawn that position. Three million population, the Avisha Midla in Avartane Paranjatunda. Official idea they have communicated it to us. Now, why is it? There are a couple of other reasons. We have represented that. Population Matra Malla Oru Mass Rapid Transit System in the Avisham. Population Matra Malla Adin the sole criteria. And several other aspects. The width of the roads is an important thing. The movement of the people, floating population, visit chain, other for reasons now the Chuni Kanichu. And Planning Commission has withdrawn that. Apart from that, the Metro Construction Act, the central government, central government evolved Metro, but a central subject dieted to the Junta. This act is that any city which has got a population of 1 million qualifies to be a Metro. Therefore, I want to be on record to state that the question of population is not an issue any longer. Because legally, by the Act, and by the communication which we have received from the Planning Commission, legally, we, we means the question, is entitled to a metro. 
ഞാനിത് ആദ്യം പറഞ്ഞതിൻ്റെ ഒരു കാരണം പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഹാസ് ബീൻ എ ബോൺ ഓഫ് കണ്ടേഷൻ വിത്ത് വെരിയസ് കീ വെരിയസ് ഏജൻസീസ് ഗ്രൂപ്സ് ആൻഡ് അതേഴ്സ് ഹു ഹവ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഡോ ഹാവ് ഇനഫ് പീപ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് ദോർ ദിസ് മച്ച് ഓഫ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റിഫൈഡ് നോ മൈ അതർ പോയിൻ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് എപ്പാർട്ട് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് a large amount of floating population now these are figures that's about 3 to 5 lakhs these are figures uh, which are not really census figures were correct i get it all because we cannot estimate like that these are figures which we have received from the tourism department and the police where we make a rough calculation floating population in the matter of one hour now i want you to look at the present scenario in kochi why is it that we we are saying that we want an mrts a mass rapid transport system one is that in the roads are narrow roads are congested and the development is very very dense i'm oh, sorry it's going off again it's got a mind of its own in the condition of which i don't have to tell you you are traveling on these roads every day you know what your problem is that i have come across people who sit in their cars and curse the government they curse the government they curse their dogs they curse everybody because people get caught in the traffic tripolithra bodeyulla oru sthalathinu marine drive like varanayittu i have spent once two and a half hours that is a distance of maybe about 7 8 9 kilometers now this is a scenario which we are experiencing in kochi today and this situation is going to worsen only it's not going to improve unless we do something about it second reason is that there is a prohibitive cost of land therefore we cannot we cannot simply upgrade the roads about 2 or 3 years back kochi city uh, city road improvement program in the perilla pwd in the we had uh, developed a program or 1000 crores cost le about 19 road corridors in kochi to be upgraded to be widened now a program namal implement cheyanait shramichu we just started it's really inching on have a word i don't anticipate any serious progress anytime soon and why do i do that reason is that people here we find it difficult to acquire land from people here and that is understandable because land is very expensive and is densely populated and it is prime property namara moderator parnjathu pole everybody wants world class facilities in their city we want anything that goes on in new york or los angeles so long as അത് അടുത്ത നീബറുടെ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടിയിലായിരിക്കുന്ന അടുത്തോളം കാലം ഒരു വിഷമവുമില്ല സ്വന്തമായിട്ടുള്ള ലാൻഡ് കൊടുക്കുവാനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടോ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് അതൊരു മോശമായ കാര്യമായിട്ടല്ല ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡബിൾ പക്ഷേ നമ്മൾ അങ്ങനെ ചിന്തിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വി ജസ്റ്റ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഗോയിൻ ടു റീച്ച് എനി വേ വി ജസ്റ്റ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഗോയിൻ ടു ഗോ എനി പ്ലേസ് സോൺ പീക്ക് അവർ പീക്ക് ഡിറക്ഷൻ ട്രാഫിക് ഇറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് തേർട്ടീൻ തൗസൻഡ് നമ്മുടെ ആവറേജ് ഒരു ഒരു റൂൾ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എയ്റ്റ് തൗസൻഡ് കൂടി കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു ഷുഡ് നോർമലി എയ്റ്റ് ടു ടെൻ തൗസൻഡ് കൂടി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു ഷുഡ് നോർമലി ഗോയിൻ ഫോർ മാസ് റാപ്പിഡ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് സിസ്റ്റം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഈ ഗവൺമെൻറ്റിൻ്റെ അർബൻ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് മിനിസ്ട്രിയുടെ നാഷണൽ ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ പോളിസി റിസർച്ചിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് പറയുന്നു ഇഫ് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദെൻ ദർ ഈസ് സെർട്ടൻലി എ കേസ് ഫോർ ഹാവിങ് എ നമാറ്റിയസ് ഇൻ ഇൻ കോച്ച് we also have a problem annual growth in vehicles is about 12 to 13 percent it's more so in ernakula so these are some of the reasons why we would like to have like to have an amatius here so why do you concentrate on a metro it's fast it's reliable it's convenient it's sufficient it's uh, economical it doesn't require too much of energy it occupies uh, 
an elevated metro rail occupies only about 1.8 meters on the road. Convenient. One of the things which should be we should understand is that what is the metro? What is an MRT is going to do for us? Yendana, he Yernavala thulla kuchile nivasigal ke MRT se chiva na ito poga na. The first and foremost thing is uh, on time departure and arrival. There is no other system which can guarantee that you reach a place at 9.30 or 10.30 and you depart from that place at 11.30 or 11.25 or 11.50. Because it has got a dedicated corridor and it works in a controlled environment. And as you very well know, roads are not controlled by anybody. Drivers in the control on the roads and all that. Kerala Dilla roads in the control are the Gaila and I don't think uh, Hindu Pandya, Tripandya, and Le Mupati Munda Godi, Devan Marku Mariana and the Sadi Gadilla. There are so many things on Kerala roads, including people, vehicles, animals, processions, there's that, a whole host of things. I'm going to totally uncontrolled eye to live a situation in that we are looking at a controlled corridor for safe transportation. And this is what we are promising in a metro. And that means enhanced quality of life for the citizens in Kochi. If you want to do something, if you want to sh do shopping, if your business is leisure, if your business is government, whatever it is, you arrive on time, you depart on time, you finish your business, and the rest of the time is yours to spend with whoever you want, to do whatever you want. This, I think, is the most important Aspect. Cochin Metro Rail Limited in the vision and Cochin Metro Rail Limited in the vision is to enhance the quality of life for the people in Cochin. Nothing less, nothing more. Okay, I just want to make a quick uh, uh, mention about the project. It's 25.612 kilometers in length, uh, including, which includes 23 stations. It covers seven villages. And we are proposing to acquire about 31.92 hectares of land. This is a road map of uh, of Cochin uh, Metro. Uh, you can. You can easily see it on our website, so I simply copied it from our website. It's available if anybody wishes to have a look at that later. Uh, when we looked at the mode of implementation, we looked at various things. That is, uh, we, we looked at uh, the PPP patterns, we looked at uh, how we looked at the, the BOT methods, we looked at how the Delhi, Chennai and Bangalore metros are, are how, how they have been put in place, we looked at the Hyderabad models and therefore we zeroed in on the, on the Chennai model, the Madras model as probably our, our best option and since the union government prescribes that for any, any metro you should have an SPV which is a mandatory requirement for a special purpose vehicle. It is never any specific item. Kerala government proposed to do other Karinya August Masa till it's about five months back. Register to do you register to do in the Udesh of the name other than a conic in the government in a commitment towards this project. Ever since the 2004, when people have been talking about solving the transportation wars in Cochin City, we have been basically talking. There was not much of action for various reasons. I'm not going into that. But in July, August, we 
We decided, the government decided to walk the talk. Paraina Sangadi, Pravartika, Makka, Yendala, Udash, Todagudi, Yane, other e project implemented Jiwan Mendiane, KMR Lenola, Vodus Tavanam, August Master, and the Price Chetan. I'll just quickly take you to the uh, Chennai model. I do the Chennai model and the funding pattern and the basic item on the Kanchir and Mendi and the slide editor. This is uh, not for uh, number of funding pattern, but this was what basically Namal Turangi which I call actually to Turangi. Equity, our day equity, 15% equity, 15% equity by the central government and the government of Tamil Nadu and subordinate debt, the JICA loans and Total figure. This is just for, for information. Let me take you to what is the current funding pattern which we have envisaged for Cochin. Okay. This is 5,146 crores total. And we are looking at a 15% equity participation by Government of India. 15% equity by government of Kerala. A subordinate debt, right, means that the government of Kerala would be meeting the cost of land. Land in the cost item, that the land acquisition the cost item. The rest are taxes. We are also looking at some property development, which Initially, we had a lot of property property development in Kerala. But after several discussions with uh, uh, central government officials and railway officials, we had a conclusion that there is a lot of property development, especially stations in the past, commercial development stations in the Mughal light, commercial space development is a possibility in the country. We are looking at that. We are looking at an external debt of uh, 2,170 crores. So this gives you an idea about where the money is going to come from, how we are going to spend it, and who is funding the project. In Metro Ada project, Narapilak in the Lake of India, Anj Proprietary Works, Government of Kerala sanctioned Chil. That is rebuilding the North ROV. You are very familiar with it, President Mosi, that it there, and the Banji Road. He roads in the upgrade, he ROVs in the rebuilding. The Elam would have the government of Kerala. He project in a serious system, Kerala government intention of honor. Now, I want to take you to why this project was delayed for such a long time. Funding in Libya can act. Sovereign guarantee in Libya can act. And there are various reasons. But Planning Commission Day position has always been, it does not, it does not change, mind you. Many people say that Adalam Shriyaki is a Palavala, 